What's up guys, Andrew here. Today I'll be reviewing the new Asus UX303 LA. This is a 13.3 inch Ultrabook that is competing with the likes of the Samsung Book 9, the Dell XPS 13, and HP Spectre X360. This has been a good year with so many great Ultrabooks out there. So let's see if the Asus UX303 is worth picking up. The model I have here features a Core i5-5200U, 8GB of RAM, a 256GB SSD, and a Quad HD touchscreen panel. This model will retail for $899 US. Alright, let's get started with the design. You get a beautiful aluminum smoky brown finish that just looks gorgeous. The weight comes in at 3.23 pounds, which is a tad heavier than the Dell XPS 13, but if you compare it to the HP Spectre X360, they are pretty similar. The interior is also made of metal, and it just feels and looks great. This is one of the slickest Ultrabooks I have ever tested. The thickest point is around 0.70 inches. The build quality is great, and the overall design of the new UX303 is just breathtaking. Keyboard flex towards the left side is very minimal. However, as you move towards the right side of the keyboard, it does tend to flex a little bit. But it's not to the point where I'm going to worry about. Now keep in mind, I am pressing down very firmly right here. Now let's take a look at the ports here on the right side of the laptop. Here goes your AC charging port, mini display port, USB 3, a full size HDMI port, headset microphone jack combo, and your battery status indicator. On the left side, you got two more USB 3.0 ports and an SD card reader. Now let's see how much an SD card sticks out. Wow, that sticks out a lot. Almost like the MacBook Pro line of laptops. Display performance has been great with the exception of the yellows. They look almost like a mustard yellow. I'll show you a sample in just a bit. Asus chose to go with a Quad HD Samsung panel that looks stunning for the most part. The sRGB coverage came in at 100% and the Adobe RGB came in at 77%. Basically, these scores mean that this panel has a very good color reproduction. Now let's get back to the yellows on this panel. Take a look at some of these SpongeBob images here. On the left, we have a 15-inch MacBook Pro Retina, and the right is the Asus. It's a very weird looking yellow, almost like a dark mustard yellow. Hopefully, Asus can address this in the software update, because this panel is pretty darn good beside this issue. And another minor complaint I have is the Quad HD panel. You're going to have some issues with scaling, especially with third-party applications. But the good news here is Windows 10 is just around the corner, and it will most likely get those issues resolved. You also get a touchscreen panel that is very responsive. Scrolling and multi-touch gestures were smooth like butter. Overall, I've been impressed with the price point of this Ultrabook. You get a Quad HD touchscreen panel for only $899 US. That seems like a steal. The viewing angles from this 13.3 inch IPS panel has been great. Whether you're working on school project with classmates, or just kicking back in bed watching Netflix, you're definitely going to enjoy this IPS panel. One of the biggest downsides to this panel is how reflective it is, so if you plan on working by windows or bright lighting, keep that in mind. The keyboard has been surprisingly pretty good, the tactile feedback feels great, and the key trial was actually quite good for an Ultrabook. Overall, I was very satisfied with the performance from this keyboard. Just like the other high-end Ultrabooks, you also get a backlit keyboard. You got your low setting, medium, and your high setting. The trackpad is designed and engineered by Asus, and they did a pretty good job. Tracking, two finger scrolls were actually pretty smooth. The only minor complaint I had was the multi-touch was not as smooth as I would like. However, the overall performance from this trackpad was good. So what's powering this laptop? The 2015 UX303 LA is powered by a Core i5-5200U, which is a Broadwell CPU. This chip is quick and efficient. Whether you're browsing the web, or performing light photo and video editing, this chip provides just enough power to get those tasks done. Now you do get a nice bonus with the ASUS UX303 LA. You get 8GB of RAM standard compared to the Dell XPS 13 and the HP Spectre X360. Those models come with 4GB standard. And here's some benchmarks for the Core i5-5200U. For the Geekbench 3 performance score, I got a score of 2,799. And for the multi-core performance, came in at 5,487. And the final test on this CPU was PC Mark 8, a home accelerated test, came in at 2,386. Okay, let's take a look at CPU temperatures. With casual usage like web browsing and YouTube, the average CPU temperature was around 43 degrees Celsius with a high of up to 56 degrees Celsius. These temperatures were very good overall. What about graphics performance? The performance from the Intel HD 5500 is fairly good for an integrated GPU. You can expect to play games like League of Legends, Minecraft, and even some Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Just don't expect to play games like Battlefield 4 or Grand Theft Auto 5. Next up, here's some benchmarks for the Intel HD 5500. For the Skydiver test, I got 2700, and for CloudGate, I got 4998. And our last benchmark here is Cinebench R15. The OpenGL test came in at 28.04 frames per second. 
So let's go and test out this integrated GPU on Counter-Strike Global Offensive at 1280 by 720p. As you can see here, the game is running pretty smooth with no noticeable drop in frame rate. Overall, I've been pretty satisfied with Intel HD 5500. So how are the temperatures now after playing Counter-Strike for around 30 minutes? Well, the average is now 73 degrees Celsius with a high up to 80 degrees Celsius. These temperatures are still impressive. I'm betting it's the combination of the sufficient Broadwell CPU as well as the bigger footprint for the internals. The external temperatures were pretty impressive as well. As you can see here, I'm averaging around 32 degrees Celsius with the hottest point at around 43 degrees Celsius at the JKL keys. And finally, let's take a look at some temperatures on the bottom case. Right now we're averaging around 35 to 38 degrees Celsius. Overall, this Ultrabook did a good job of keeping cool and efficient. The UX303LA features an HD webcam. Here's the test of it in action. Hey, what's up YouTube? Andrew here, testing out the webcam quality on the new ASUS UX303LA. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Battery life has been adequate. With casual usage like web browsing, some mixed video streaming, I've been able to get around 5.5 to 6.5 hours out of full charge with screen brightness set at around 50%. For the best battery performance, I would recommend waiting for ASUS to release the 1080p version. Next up, here's a quick shot of the internal components of the UX303LA. First up, you have your 8GB of RAM total. There is 4GB of RAM soldered on board, and a DIMM slot with an additional 4GB of RAM, giving you a total 8GB. So technically, you can upgrade your DIMM slot to 8GB, and have a max capacity of 12GB of RAM. That's another nice bonus of the UX303LA. The wireless card power on this laptop is the Intel Dual Band Wireless AC7265. The performance has been rock solid with no connection issues. Now keep in mind this card also has Bluetooth 4.0. Next up is the 2.5 inch 7mm SSD. You get a capacity of 256GB. The performance has been very quick. Boot ups and the overall system response has been excellent. Alright guys, so let's talk about fan noise. During casual usage, I can barely hear the fan running. However, if you plan on doing some intense CPU work or playing games, then you'll start to hear the fan running. But don't worry, it's not too loud and disturbing. It's actually one of the quietest Ultrabooks I have tested. And last but not least is our two Bang & Olufsen speakers that offer good decent sound quality. The mids were great, but the low end was sorta of lacking in that department. The sound levels were loud, but you will hear a lot of distortion at a high volume. So let's go ahead and do a sound test starting at 50% and go up from there. So let's get to the conclusion of this notebook. If you're in the market for an Ultrabook that offers good performance, a comfortable keyboard, a beautiful design, and a gorgeous display, then the new ASUS UX303LA is a solid choice. It offers great performance for an Ultrabook, 8GB of RAM standard that can be expandable to 12GB, and you get that 2.5 inch upgradable hard drive. My only major gripe was some of the yellows on this panel was a bit too dark, and the average battery life. Alright guys, this completes my full review on the all new 2015 ASUS ZenBook UX 303 LA. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for the support and I'll catch you in the next one.